Hi, this is Denise Matthew, and today I'm going to make a um, peace charm. Uh, you can have a charm for earrings or a pendant, or you could even add it to a bracelet. Um, and you can vary the size according to your um, specifications. So I'm starting out today about eight inches of wire. First thing you want to do is you just want to wrap that wire right around your ring mandrel or a dowel, whatever you have. And then just take one side and just do a 90 degree angle like that. Okay, get the chain nose pliers and then take it off. And this is what you would have. Okay, and then after that's done, you're just going to take your pliers and you're just going to, this is a round nose pliers, and you're just going to wrap it around once and then twice. Okay, and this is where you would be ma making the loop that your charm is going to hang from, and I'll show you that in a minute. Just go around once and twice like that okay and when you do that it will automatically bring your your um, tail right down straight and that's exactly where you want to have it okay so just leave the tail straight like that and then just take your chain nose pliers and then you're gonna go with this longer tail you're gonna go around everything actually I'm just gonna hold my hold it with my fingers and that actually works better okay so that's what you would have so far all right now if the circle comes at a place you can just bend up this tail because you have it secured now. Just put it on your ring mandrel or your dowel, okay, just to make sure it gets back into shape, okay? And then you'll have it back in shape. If you can do this, but you not don't necessarily have to do this. I just like to do this because it keeps my circle in better um, shape and I don't have to worry about it coming out of shape. So I'm just going to wire harden it a little bit with a hammer. Now just bring your, your uh, tail back to the center and if you need to do some adjustments to make sure it's straight you can do that, okay? Right, and then just take your pliers and straighten it again if, you've, if, it, if it's come out of shape, okay? So now this is what you would have. Now what you can do now is just trim off that longer tail and you're going to use that for the other part of it so just leave that to the side and then just make sure all the sharp bits are tucked in. So this is what you would have. And now you're just going to take that tail that you have right there and you're just going to tuck it under and just secure it. Okay? And you want to keep it centered. Make sure you're keeping it centered when you're doing, doing this, okay? And I would just say wrap it around once and then trim back that tail. Okay. And then just make sure that's all squeezed in. And because I've hammered it, everything is pretty firm and exactly like the way I want it. All right, so this is what you would have. And um, now you're going to um, take this. I'm working with a 26 gauge, um, about three quarters of a foot. And uh, you might need more than this according to the size charm you're going to make. So you're just going to leave a little um, tail there, like a little couple millimeters. Now I usually wrap that tail in, but you're just going to start to st to coil your um, your wire around your Okay, so you're just going to start wrapping it around that main base, right at the center where you uh, wrap that. So if you see, I'm just taking this tail and I'm just wrapping it around right there. Now if the, the loops are too far apart, just push them together with your, with, your, um, with your pliers. And then just make sure the tails are in, squeeze it together, push it with your fingernail, and that's, that's where you would start out. Now what you're going to continue to do is you're going to continue to and you know sometimes when it's when you're first starting to wrap you notice it's sort of sliding around my my um, wire so if you have crimp pliers it's great you can just grab hold of those coils with your crimp pliers hold it tightly and then just start to wrap and that'll keep everything in place and your coils won't be uh, rotating on you because that can happen sometimes so just keep wrapping and you're going to wrap to probably about here because that's where a piece, like if you had a piece, um, well, the, the other part of the piece sign goes. So you're going to wrap on both sides. Okay, so I'll just do a couple more wraps and then I'll come back and show you how to at attach the next part. But you're just basically coiling. And as you go, if your coils are coming apart, just push them together with your pliers or your finger and don't over wrap. Just make sure they're side by side. And this is what you would have so far. Now, since it's pushed up, that's all right. Just push it right down and um, 
and now it's more stable, it's going to stay in place for you. Okay. So I've wrapped up um, both sides and it's about a, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. And so now that you have that done, you're just going to take that leftover piece of wire that you cut off and just kind of um, guide it into your um, into the center so that it's right in the center like that. So you see what I mean? It's um, okay. And now what you're going to do is you're going to you want to push it down close to those coils. But again, don't worry about it because you can always adjust it and then just kind of bend it over so that you're going to have it twist it like that. See? are right around where I stopped on the coils okay now when you wrap this around you want to make sure that you stop wrap you wrap the same way as you wrapped your um, you wrapped your front so you see that's the front so I'm going to wrap this way again and that will just keep it all consistent I'm just going to trim back the end a little bit here because I don't need them all so just trim it back and then just take my pliers and go right around go the other side and then just right around again just like you did Okay, so now I have this. So now what I'm going to do is, because a peace sign it goes up, you're just going to sort of take your pliers and bend it a little bit like that. So you're just bending it, okay, like that. And if you have a little bend in your wire, don't worry, you can just take your pliers and adjust it, okay? So start here and go up, or you can start here and go down. It's really your choice. It doesn't make a difference as long as you fill in this with the same kind of coils. So you're just going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to start on this end. I'm going to do exactly like I did before, just have my little tail, and then just wrap, uh, wrap around a few times. Okay. You know, the last little while you can sort of use your fingers just to pull out the um, the circle more if it's come out of shape and because the coils will sort of help you um, keep it together so it doesn't uh, come out of shape. So just use your pliers to adjust accordingly everything, just the last minute things. Now if you're going to use this, um, I made a, a larger one, of course you can make it much smaller. I made it larger just so you could see better. Um, but if you wanted to use this like sort of as an earring, you could um, just leave the loop the way it is like that and then just open your ear wire and then slide it on. Just close your ear wire and th that would be an earring like that. Now in, if you prefer to have it as a pendant, um, you're going to need the loop to be um, a different way. So just take your pliers and just quickly do one quick twist and then that will make your loop that way so that if you want to put it on a chain, um, you could just quickly you know, just put it on a chain like that and then if you want to dress it up you can add uh, I have a little rose quartz um, uh, charm here um, you could add that yeah and you could I mean I have a heart here you could do like a peace and love um, so there's so many different options you could put it on leather if you want it to um, so this concludes the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.